All right, so once again, we have got the Epson FX86E. I'm not going to call it a Canon this time. Dell Matrix printer. You can see uh, some stuff going on here on the, on the page, doing some testing. Because as you can see, I finally managed to find a parallel cable, although I think my parallel cable is kind of messed up. Because getting it on to there, getting it on here, that was a pain. Let me tell you, that was a real pain. I've got it hooked up right now to this Brothers Super Power Note. I have the parallel port. So we'll go ahead and we'll just turn this on and have a look at what we've got going on before I get the tripod out and start doing some real testing. So we're going to set up. We need to go into printer setup. And you can see I've got this set up as an Epson. Let's get some light on this. Epson 9 pin dot matrix printer. That's what this is. I suppose you could probably set it up for 24, but it probably wouldn't even work. I have it set up for wide carriage, although I should probably just change that to narrow. I don't think this is a wide carriage printer. I think this is just a narrow carriage, regular size. Near letter quality, you can set it to draft, but I'm going to set it to NLQ. And of course, parallel, if you were to, you know, hook it up serial, there's all your settings for that. But this doesn't have a serial port on it, so we're stuck with parallel, which is fine. And that is how it is set up. So, now we are basically at this point ready to go. So let me get the tripod, and we'll have some printing. Oops, I forgot I left the fader on. It's not really going to matter though, I don't think. So we'll go ahead and turn the printer on. We'll go into ready online mode. We'll turn on NLQ, not that I think it really makes a difference. I think that's controlled by the super power note. And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to try out, let's get the camera light so we can actually see this, the line by line mode, type 4, and it'll bring us to this. I actually managed to keep my margin set. By default it's set to 10, but I want it set to 0 because as you can see from the printout here, 10 is a little bit much. There's not really a lot of printing space left on that page. I'm going to leave the right margin alone. So we're going to go ahead and we will enter in a line of text. There is our line of text, and when we push return, the printer will print it out for us. If we move that up, we will see it just like that. Look at that. Print it out very nicely. Now, I wonder what happens if we type a line of text in this thing, and we put the printer in draft mode. We take Oh yeah, it does print out in draft mode. So we can see there the difference between the two types of text. It's fairly obvious. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, take the printer offline, get out of this. Or maybe we won't get out of this because it won't let us. It back online. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it was waiting for the. Wow, that's kind of stupid. So we'll load the paper. Or, gotta take it offline before we can load the paper. And there we go. Paper is loaded. It's probably a little crooked, but should be good to go. So, what we're gonna do is we'll go over here. We've got a, uh, a nice directory listing up of what's on my floppy disk that's on board here. So, we'll go to P for list print. It'll ask us to set the printer. We'll make the same mistake I did before. And we'll put it online. Press return. All right. So in this case, it is actually going to matter whether or not
we are in draft mode, as you can see there. Or you would be able to see if I were to take that out. There is our directory listing. That's pretty cool. So let me go get another piece of paper and we will print off something else that should be even further more interesting. Okay, so we'll load this piece of paper. Form feed is technically not the right way to do that, but it'll work. Get out of that. Go to our word processor and how about we grab just a file here. This is a low-end radio playlist. And we will go ahead and let's see. Page print. Set printer and press return. There we go. That is all. That she wrote. There we can see. Man, that looks really good. Probably should have set my margin. And you can see that, yes, in fact, the page was crooked. And you can see that the margin changes as we go down. That's what you get when you don't get the, uh, the page insert thingy, whatever they call it. I don't remember. That you'd put here so you could put single sheets of paper in. I didn't get the tractor feed mechanism either, so I can't really... You lose both ways. It's not that it really matters. The printer does work. So, that is pretty much it for my demonstration of the Epson FX86E. Dom Matrix printer, 9-pin. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And this is CP666 signing off. I hope to see you next time. Until then. Set printer and press return. Printer is, oh, offline. <laughs> Oops. I loaded the paper wrong. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to have to do that again. Oops. At least you'll get to see me loading the paper this time.